Now you may remember these uh, two panel antennas from a uh, week or so ago. There I did uh, a comparison between the two to try and figure out which one was uh, underperforming and which one performed better. And then we opened them up and then uh, we could visually see why this one uh, didn't perform quite as well. But uh, a question that I was asked uh, by uh, a subscriber is could I take both of these and make one panel antenna and make it around 14 dB? Now in that video I said that uh, these two antennas were nowhere near the 11 dB stated on the uh, back of the case and in that video I said that uh, this uh, element here is around uh, 3.5 uh, dB and this one here is around 3.5 dB so you're getting around 7 dBi of gain with one of these nowhere near 11 dBi now that is not strictly true you wouldn't exactly get it to double so if this one's 3.5 and uh, this one's 3.5 you can't add them together uh, to get double the gain it doesn't quite work like that you get a little bit of loss and in fact the curve um, goes off uh, considerably the more elements that you add into phase when you're building an antenna like this it's uh, basically a curve and it starts to go off quite sharply the more elements that you add but uh, it is one of these is around 7 dbi maybe a little bit under but um, I can certainly combine both of these to uh, produce something a little bit more powerful and in fact if uh, I take the elements from this one here move them over to this one and reposition everything then we'll probably get around the 11 dbi that's stated on the back of this case maybe about 11.5 uh, you know by the time you've added them all together in phase and taken the uh, you know loss out of the equation so that way we would definitely have one panel antenna that says 11 dbi on the back and it certainly would be 11 dbi so i thought in this video really quick video i'll uh, remove the uh, elements from this put them onto this one and then we can do the same test um, that i did in that video to see if it uh, will actually pick up more power on that second test that I did. So we've got a couple of options that we can do when it comes to modifying this. Now the best option would be is to have all four elements equally spaced out like they are here on the bench. Now probably bend this uh, solder tag over here so it makes contact with uh, these two elements here and then we've got the solder point here still in place to solder the uh, coax to and that way all four elements are equally spaced out and uh, it's all nice and uniform and uh, the only problem with doing that is you would have to modify the case so it would fit in there you'd have to trim away the four posts in each of the corners and you'd have to find yourself a new piece of tin to use as a reflector but uh, again it, it probably wouldn't add that much time to the uh, construction of the antenna and as you've got it all apart like this there's no reason not to but uh, for this particular video I'm just interested in uh, you know if we can uh, get much more gain out of one of these by sacrificing one and modifying uh, the two element sets into one panel antenna so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to solder this bar along here onto the top of the uh, bar on the other two elements get them nicely lined up and have them like this I'm going to cut away this uh, solder point here and then use this as my solder point and that way it's going to fit nicely into the case itself without modifying anything and then I can still keep the back reflector as well so you know that any test I do at the end is down to modifying the uh, driven elements not replacing the uh, reflector with some other kind of material so I've got the elements all soldered together I uh, decided to remove the second tab from this because what I'm going to do is solder directly into the middle of this uh, center bar here so you can see it fits on that back reflector quite nicely now what I'm going to do to mount it is use some of this uh, foam here it's about three millimeters thick and uh, I just picked this up from uh, the cheap shop uh, quite local to me I think it's some kind of uh, insulating foam quite thin stuff you can get it thicker than this as well but uh, about this about three millimeters is about the same as the foam that was uh, used to hold the elements in place uh, you know originally so you can see here the finished modification you can see how I've uh, soldered onto the 
driven element there I didn't have to uh, mess around cutting and uh, you know modifying the uh, coax feed in there so it made it much easier you can see it just about fits onto that back reflector I mean uh, I wanted to do it like this just to show how much power we could get just by uh, adding the two extra elements in there but I think if I was going to do this for myself I uh, would have replaced that and uh, cut away the uh, pegs as I said previously and just you know expanded it out a little bit but uh, let me pop the uh, lid back on this case then and then we'll uh, take it over to the test bench and see if we've improved it any so the setup is exactly the same as I did in the uh, previous video where I looked at both uh, panel antennas to try and find out which one was performing better and uh, I'm going to run the test in exactly the same way and this time I'm predicting probably around uh, 15, 16, possibly 17 milliwatts of power so looking at just under doubling from the uh, 10 milliwatts that the uh, better panel antenna performed as on that day of testing. So I've got everything running now and I've let the uh, little 5.8 gigahertz uh, signal uh, source warm up a little bit because it, it's not a precision uh, piece of kit this and uh, as it warms up it does decrease its power but um, I'll show you the uh, readout on the uh, boot and power meter there and you can see it's in the 20s so I wasn't quite expecting it to be uh, as high as that but we've certainly doubled it by uh, adding uh, the uh, two extra elements on there combining both antennas to make one really good one it's dropping off slightly and that's probably due to the uh, signal source itself you know it's not a precision um, bit of kit the uh, signal source that I'm using but as a test you can definitely see that uh, we've improved things considerably by uh, you know mating the two of those elements together to produce one really good antenna and that's probably around 11 dbi of gain now that's uh, you know around what it says on the back of the case there so uh, i'm very pleased with that so i hope you found the video interesting uh, combining the two of these uh, to make one decent uh, antenna that is around 11 dbi as i said and you can pick these up for around three quid off of uh, eBay and uh, interestingly enough I have got a, uh, a decent half decent uh, panel antenna coming in in the next few days that uh, is hopefully if it uh, states and performs correctly is 14 dbi so I'll run the same test again and uh, you know compare it to uh, the uh, performance of this one and uh, you can see now that I've uh, removed everything from this second antenna here, and I will keep the case, uh, I can definitely do something with that in the future. But you see here where it grounds down to uh, the aluminium tape here for the reflector itself. It's just riveted in there by melting some of the plastic with this metal tag, but the metal tag is not uh, making contact with that plastic. So, uh, you know, it was uh, doomed to fail from the start. And I have noticed that there's a version of this with the exact same case, but it's got flight sight printed on the uh, front. I think it'd be really interesting to get one of those in as well and uh, tear that down to see if uh, it's exactly the same as one of these on the uh, inside, because I believe they also claim around uh, 11 dBi, uh, as it says on the back of the case. Although on Amazon, they uh, don't claim anything when it comes to the gain but uh, they are charging a little bit more for theirs, around uh, £10 if I remember off the top of my head. So, uh, you know, it might be interesting to get one of those in and uh, take it apart and see what's on the inside. So again, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please give it a uh, thumbs up. Any comments or questions, drop them below and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one.